The Loom of Youth by Alec Waugh is a seminal work that paints a vivid picture of the complex social and emotional landscape of an English public school. Waugh's novel, set against the backdrop of his own experiences at Sherburne School, breaks away from the sanitized and idealized portrayals of school life prevalent in early 20th century literature. Instead, it offers a raw and unvarnished look at the realities faced by young boys transitioning into adulthood. At its core, The Loom of Youth is a coming-of-age story that captures the turbulence of adolescence. The protagonist, Gordon Carruthers, navigates the trials and tribulations of school life, grappling with themes of friendship, identity, and conformity. Waugh's depiction of Gordon's journey is both poignant and relatable, resonating with readers who have experienced the pangs of growing up. One of the novel's most striking aspects is its candid exploration of relationships, particularly the intense friendships that develop in the all-male environment of a boarding school. Wa does not shy away from depicting the emotional and sometimes physical closeness between the boys, which was a controversial topic at the time of the novel's publication in 1917. The author's frankness in addressing these relationships challenged the conservative norms of his era and provided a more authentic portrayal of the bonds formed in such institutions. Waugh's narrative is also notable for its critique of the educational system. He presents a scathing indictment of the rigid and often dehumanizing practices that characterized public schools. The emphasis on discipline, competition, and adherence to tradition often stifles individual creativity and emotional expression. Through Gordon's experiences, Waugh highlights the psychological toll this environment can take on young minds, leading to feelings of alienation and disillusionment. The novel's autobiographical elements add a layer of depth to the story. Waugh's own expulsion from Sherburne for publishing a school magazine that included controversial content is mirrored in Gordon's conflicts with authority. This personal connection infuses the narrative with authenticity and underscores the author's critique of the oppressive nature of the school system. Waugh's decision to publish such a revealing work at a young age, he was just 17, demonstrates both his literary talent and his courage in challenging societal norms. The Loom of Youth also delves into the broader social context of the time, reflecting the shifting attitudes towards education and youth. The early 20th century was a period of significant change, with World War I altering perceptions of duty, honor, and individuality. Waugh's novel captures this transitional period, depicting a generation of young men caught between traditional values and the emerging modern world. The characters' struggles and aspirations reflect the broader cultural tensions of the era, making the novel a valuable historical document as well as a compelling literary work. Stylistically, Waugh employs a straightforward and unadorned prose that enhances the realism of the narrative. His writing is marked by keen observation and psychological insight, allowing readers to deeply engage with the characters' inner lives. The dialogue is particularly effective in conveying the nuances of the boys' relationships and the hierarchical nature of school society. In conclusion, The Loom of Youth is a groundbreaking novel that offers a candid and critical portrayal of public school life. Alec Waugh's exploration of friendship, identity, and conformity, set against the backdrop of a rigid educational system, provides a powerful commentary on the challenges of growing up. The novel's autobiographical elements and its reflection of broader social changes add to its significance, making it a poignant and enduring work. Through his unflinching depiction of adolescent life, Waugh not only captures the essence of his generation but also lays the groundwork for future literary explorations of youth and education.